Natural Extract as an Alternative Sustainable Biocide Treatment for Cultural Heritage. Hi, I'm Benedetta Paolino and I'm a PhD candidate for the Environment Design and Innovation course of Luigi Van Vitelli University. And today I'm going to explain my research project for the Green Conservation Conference in the edition of 2023. In scientific literature, there is a growing interest in the use of plant-based compounds for the treatment of artworks. The purpose of this study, in fact, is to evaluate whether and how plant extract can be used for biocide treatment of artworks because of their antifungal properties. This one is our first case study. Uncolor Becomes Alter Lego 2 is the name of the contemporary artwork made by Heim Steinbach in 1984 and exhibited at the Plart Museum in Naples. It is a shelf covered in laminate and made out in plywood with two latex masks of Yoda and a stereo made out in metal alloys. Biological material has been sampled in situ from the artwork using a sterilized scalpel and PDA culture medium. A seven days incubation has followed. For fungi identification, DNA was extracted through CTAB method and then amplified through polymerase chain reaction. In the end, DNA has been quantified and got ready for genetic sequencing. DNA sequences have been compared with BLAST dataset and six fungi were identified. Plant-based materials have been extracted following two different methodologies. First, solid liquid extraction from Lavandula augustifolia and Timus lungicaulis. And second, two more extracts from supercritical carbon dioxide from Lavandula augustifolia. Two apolar dry extracts have been prepared, one from Timus lungicaulis and one from Lavandula augustifolia, using solid liquid extraction with hexan solvent. A second extraction has been carried out through supercritical carbon dioxide in order to separate the lavender essential oil from its polar phase, the lavender hydrolate. Three methodologies have been chosen to assess antifungal activity of the extract at five different concentrations, two contact tests using disk infusion method and a third by fumigation through microatmosphere. In the first test, four discs of filter paper have been placed around a micellar plug. In the second test, the conidial suspensions with a known concentration have been spread on the culture medium with a handmade spatula to evaluate sensitivity to the extract during pre-germination stage. Last, micellial plug was placed in a reversed platy plates and extract has been applied on the lid, sealed in order to let it evaporate and saturate the air. Radial growth of fungi have been measured after 5, 7 and 10 days and within the 4 extract only pure lavender oil has proven to be effective. The trend of fungi treated with lavender essential oil shows it to be time and dose dependent besides being species specific. Conidial suspensions confirmed that the growth was inhibited between the 25 and 33% of concentration. And in microatmosphere, the effectiveness of the oil is higher at even lower concentration, starting at 10%. Using Probit's statistical model, it's been possible to define the IC50, the concentration needed to inhibit for the 50% the fungal growth. And we can see how the needed quantity expressed in microliters is a lot lower by microatmosphere method than by disk infusion method. In conclusion, we can say that within the tested plant extract, the one that showed the highest antifungal properties is the lavender essential oil extracted with supercritical carbon dioxide, which is extremely performative for the isolation of volatile compounds. In addition, the methodology that provided the best performance was by mid-grow atmosphere, where the saturation of the air by volatile compounds offered an excellent inhibitory activity on fungal growth at even lower concentration than by contact treatment. In the end, the achieved results allow this application to be considered for the treatment of artworks on organic media by exposing them to the vapor phase of a lavender essential oil, in this way avoiding a direct application and thus chemical and physical interaction with the art medium.